All right, let's move on to the very big story of the moment. A federal capital territory high court sitting in Buari has dismissed the suit filed by Busola Dakolo against the senior pastor of the Commonwealth of Zion Assembly, Pastor Biodo Fato Ibo. In a suit um, filed by Busola Dakolo in September, she accused Fato Ibo of rape, adding that the Fato Ibo's denial in a statement adversely affected her marital sex life. She therefore demanded a personal letter of apology to show honest remorse of his misdeeds. In a ruling to Today, the court also ordered Busola to pay one million naira for wasting the court's time. Justice Othman Musa held that the matter amounts to injustice and an abuse of judicial process, adding that the case is empty and purely sentimental. The court held that the fine should have been ten times more because the court's time was wasted. Um, joining us on Tea Time is Sandra Igboru, legal practitioner who specializes on sexual and gender-based violence. Hello, Sandra. Hello. Hi, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, quickly on the Busola story, how do you react to this? Okay, um, first of all, I think that um, I, I would not think that the decision of the court amounts to an injustice. And um, it's sad that I say this because from the onset, I think that this suit was purely defective. That's the truth. So because, you know, the action was brought under civil proceedings. And during a suit under civil proceedings, usually it has to be backed by evidence. And the action that was in being um, sued against was an action that happened over 10 years ago. And getting evidence was something that was purely difficult. And so I think that um, the ruling of the court. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Please go ahead. Okay. So I think that the, the, the ruling of the court in discharging the, the case wasn't um, anything amounting to injustice. If Busola had brought that action under a criminal proceeding and sued under the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, perhaps she would have gotten a headway. But bringing an action, you know, one of the issues that was raised was the fact that the issue was started by, meaning that we had a lapse in time. Mm. So bringing actions under criminal proceedings do not have such a bar. So if we Hello? actually want to reprieve, I think the best way for her is to still go under the criminal procedure. So is yeah. there a way forward from here now? Yeah, that's the way forward I just talked about. The way forward basically is to file under criminal proceedings. Rape usually, I've worked on several rape cases, and I it's very rare to see a rape case brought under civil proceedings. So I think that this, had, this was one of the reasons, or purely the reason, why the court yeah. dismissed the action for being a, a waste of the court time and purely lacking any basis or evidence. All right, thank you so much for your time, Sandra. All right, thank you very much.